Hi, it's Molly McDonald for DemoGirl.com. It's Friday, April 9th, 2010, and this is your complimentary tour of ZipList.com. ZipList helps you create grocery lists that are organized and available to you on your computer and on your mobile phone. It's super easy to use. I'm already signed into my account, and I'm just going to select one of the lists I've already created, Sunday Brunch. Now you can start adding items. Just type them in and hit Enter. You can also grab one from the autocomplete feature. ZipList automatically categorizes your items for you by section of the supermarket where you can find each one. If you find a recipe online, you can use the bookmarklet to quickly add the recipe to your ZipList recipe box. Then back in your recipe box, you can add all of the items to your list, or you can select specific ones and choose a list to apply it to. Now back on my list, I can see all the items that were just added and they've been placed in the correct category. You can rearrange categories by dragging and dropping them into place, and mark items as important by clicking on the exclamation point. You can add multiple items by separating them with a semicolon. If an item is in the wrong category, you can simply drag it into the correct category and ZipList will remember next time, or use the Edit icon to place it into the correct category. You can also add stores to your account so that you'll know if you need to go to more than one place. Just do a zip code search and add the stores that you shop at. And now I can use the edit icon again to add specific items to a store. You can print out the list to take with you and change the font size. And as long as you're a registered user, you can email the list to yourself or to someone else by entering in their email address. And if you verified your mobile phone, you can send the list to yourself or to someone who's doing the shopping for you. And that's the basics of ZipList, but there's more help for you like shortcuts and list history. So check it out and see if it can help you organize your shopping list more efficiently. That's all for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you back at demogirl.com.